like and subscribe, and leave a comment below. A HFY story defying the odds. As I looked out across the battlefield, I knew this was going to be a long day. The sky was lit up with the streaks of energy bolts, and the air was thick with the sounds of battle. Oh, we had been fighting for days, and the outcome was still uncertain. But as I stood there, I knew that this was a moment that would define us, humanity, fighting against impossible odds, for our survival, to carve out our right to exist in this ruthless galaxy. Commander Rocker, it was a voice in my earpiece breaking my only moment's peace in days. It was Lieutenant Kim, my second in command. The Zarthan forces are regrouping on the eastern flank. We need reinforcements there immediately. Understood, I replied, gripping my plasma rifle tighter. I'll lead the charge myself. Hold the line until I get there. As I sprinted towards the eastern flank, I couldn't help but think back to how all this started. Humanity had always been seen as the underdog in the vast expanse of the galaxy. We were latecomers to the interstellar scene, and many of the older, more advanced races looked down on us. But when the Zarthans declared war on the Galactic Federation, we were the only ones willing to stand up and fight. Our homeworld, Earth, had always been a beacon of resilience. Throughout history, we had faced countless challenges and emerged stronger each time. And now, as we fought against the technologically superior Zarthans, that same resilience burned brighter than ever in every human's heart. I reached the eastern flank just in time. The Zarthans were advancing, with their insectoid forms moving with terrifying speed, but we had something they didn't, an unbreakable spirit. Hold your positions, I shouted. We fight for Earth, for our families, and for humanity's future. The soldiers around me, a mix of humans and the allied species who had chosen to stand with us, roared in response. As the Zarthans closed in, we opened fire with a wall of lasers cutting through their ranks. The battle raged on, but we held our ground. Inch by inch, we pushed them back. Amidst the chaos, I saw brave acts of heroism that fueled my determination. Private Anderson, despite a severe leg wound, pulled a fallen comrade to safety. Sergeant Lee, with her left arm blown off from an earlier skirmish, continued to bark orders, rallying her troops with a fierce determination. Kim, Take a squad and reinforce the western perimeter, I ordered. Don't let them break through. On it, Commander, Kim replied, already moving to execute the command. As the Zarthans closed in on our position, I felt a surge of adrenaline. This was more than just a battle. It was a test of our very existence. We fought with everything we had, with our determination burning brighter than any star. Despite the relentless assault, we managed to hold our ground. Inch by inch we pushed them back, and then, amidst the chaos, I saw him, General Zarkoth, the leader of the Zarthan forces. General Zarkath, I bellowed, drawing his attention. Face me if you dare. Zarkoth turned, with his multifaceted eyes locking onto mine. He raised a clawed hand, signaling his troops to fall back. So, the humans sent their best warrior to die. He sneered, this will be your end, Commander, and it will seal this victory. We'll see about that, I replied, readying myself for the fight of my life. Zarkath charged. I dodged his initial strike, countering it with a blast from my rifle. He was fast, but I was faster. We traded blows, each of us giving as good as we got, but I could see it in his eyes. He didn't understand what he was up against. Humans were more than just their technology, their weapons. We were driven by something deeper, something primal, the will to survive, to protect those we loved, to defy the odds no matter how insurmountable they seemed, burned in every human's heart. As the battle raged around us, I found an opening. I lunged forward, plunging my combat knife into Zarkoth's lower rib cage. He let out a shriek, with his body convulsing as he fell to the ground. The Zarthan forces faltered with their morale shattered as they watched their leader fall. For Earth, I shouted, rallying my troops. Push them back. Victory is ours. With renewed vigor, we surged forward. The Zarthans, leaderless and demoralized, began to retreat. The tide of battle had turned, and we chased them from the field, securing a hard-fought victory. As the dust settled, I looked around at my fellow soldiers. 
We were battered and bruised, but we had done it. Against all odds, we had prevailed. Commander Rocker, Kim said, coming up beside me. We did it. We actually did it. I nodded. Yes, we did. But this is just the beginning. The galaxy will know that humanity will not back down. We fight for our place among the stars, and we will never stop fighting. The days following the battle were a whirlwind of repairs and regrouping. We fortified our positions and sent scouts to monitor Zarthan movements. It was clear that this victory had bought us some time, but the war was far from over. One evening, as I was reviewing reports in my tent, Kim entered, a concerned look on her face. Commander, we've intercepted a communication from the Zarthan High Command. They're planning a massive counterattack. I sighed, setting down the reports. They won't give up easily. We need to be ready for anything. We've also received word from the Galactic Federation. Kim continued. They want to meet with you. It seems our actions have caught their attention. A spark of hope flickered in my chest. The Federation had been hesitant to fully commit to the war, but perhaps now they would see the value in our fight. Arrange the meeting. I'll speak with them. The meeting was set for the following day, and I found myself in a secure communication room staring at the holographic images of the Federation Council members. Commander Rocker, began Counselor Valar, a tall, stern-faced Vortan. Your recent victory against the Zarthans has been impressive, but we need to understand. Why do you humans fight so fiercely? What drives you? I took a deep breath, choosing my words carefully. Counselors, we fight because we believe in our right to exist to thrive. We may not have the advanced technology or the centuries of experience that other species do, but we have something just as powerful, our spirit, our resilience. We fight for our homes, our families, and our future, and we will not back down. We will not take a knee. There was a murmur among the council members. Councillor Villar nodded slowly. Your determination is commendable, Commander. The Federation will provide additional support to your forces. We cannot let the Zarthans threaten the stability of the galaxy. Thank you, Counselor, I replied. Together, we will ensure that freedom and justice prevail. With renewed support from the Federation, our forces grew stronger. Supplies, reinforcements, and advanced technology poured in, bolstering our defenses. The next few battles saw us holding our ground, pushing back the Zarthans with increasing confidence. One night, as I stood on a hill overlooking our camp, Kim joined me. Do you think we can win this war, Commander? I looked at the stars. I believe we can. But it won't be easy. We'll face more challenges, more losses. But as long as we stand together, as long as we remember why we fight, we have a chance. Kim nodded. Then let's make sure every battle counts. And so, the war continued. Each victory, each setback, was a testament to our indomitable spirit. We fought not just for ourselves, but for the future of all free beings in the galaxy. We proved that humanity, with its fierce determination and unyielding courage, could stand tall against any foe. As the final battle loomed on the horizon, I knew that our story was far from over. But whatever the outcome, one thing was certain. We had shown the galaxy the true strength of humanity, and that, in itself, was a victory worth fighting for. This is not goodbye, nor the end. Until the story continues, my friends. B. and Rocker.